gonna be honest. I'm super bored. Like, there's nothing to do. You know, there's no, like, new Sonic items to review, I guess. And there's no, like, new, you know, news. And what was that? Hold on, hold on, one second. I wasn't really expecting something, so it's like a surprise, I guess. Oh, gee, Willikers, a package. So today we have a package here. Uh, so let me grab my crusty dusty scissors and open it up. So you probably know what it is already by reading the title. Uh, let's open it up. There it is. So it comes in this like plastic bag thing. I don't know. I guess that was Sonic movie merch, but um. And we have this uh, baby Sonic plush, so let's get them open. So we got this thing, cut. Okay, and here he is in all his glory. He's he's kind of small. I think he's kind of small, but uh, his his tail is kind of stuffed. But his his back spikes are just like flat little pieces. His like um his seven spikes, which is how it is in the movie, uh, and then. We have the tag that um, basically has the Sonic Movie render and the Sonic Movie logo. And he's inside of a ring. It's a pretty cool touch. Three, ages three and up. So if you're two, sorry kids, you can't have this incredibly cool Sonic the Hedgehog plushie. Okay. So let's open this tag up. Bunch of legal mumbo jumbo. Nobody wants to read that. Alrighty back says Jack Specific made in 2020 because this was for the original Sonic movie uh, which uh, never got merch for all the way back then uh, his feet look, look, look at his feet they're uncovered they're like just like normal feet and his hands they're just like normal hands it's weird seeing Sonic without gloves and all that such, but here he is. Uh, his head isn't that bad, actually, except it's based off the uh, original design. So it is based off the original design. It's gonna look like crap, but like he has like like a prime example of that is like he has this bridge uh, in the middle of his nose thing area. It's weird. It looks really weird. He also has this huge forehead. Which nobody asked for. Like he has like a like a larger forehead than I do, which is like crazy to think about. But um, oh yeah yeah yeah. Speaking of this this render, doesn't have the Pumas, which is uh, sad. But the this new Sonic movie two uh, renders and merch and all that does have the um, stuff. And let's look at the Tush tag. The Tush tag is not colored, unlike most Sonic movie two plushes. Um, but like the Jax ones don't really have colored uh, tush tags, so you know there's that. But he does look really good actually, and uh, it only took Amazon to bring him one day, so that's good. And his mouth, not too, not too worried about it, you know. But like, if I had, if I, if I was like at the house with all my my Sonic. I could show you like how small this dude is compared to everybody else. It's like this. This plush is small, man. He's like, he's, he's, I mean, he's small bab Sonic, so you know what do you expect. And his ears are stitched on very well, actually. Read that. His ears are stitched on really well, actually. I kind of like that. Uh, you shut up. The eyes are like really small. That's probably because it's based off the original design, is what I said. So, yeah. Uh, but he's really good, though. I really like this plush. I'd give it, like, a solid 7 out of 10. Just made it. That is my review for the Small Bab Sonic from Sonic Movie 1. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty much, this is, like, to hold over, I guess, for my whole, like, Sonic Movie 2 uh, 
merch review for the whole like line i guess so this is good to hold you guys over i'm going to put this guy back in the bag so that for um so i can have him in great condition for the uh collection so yeah uh tune in next time on uh Frictendo for some some more awesome reviews awesome sonic videos and more episodes of my dwindling bank account have a good one everybody uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace out Bye.